Hello, this is Dabby, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Zelda The Breath of the Wild. No, Le The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's the one. <laughs> what game am I playing again? What a pretty place I'm in. I'm in a little pond on the top of a giant tree in the forest with a little Korok behind me who's been telling me riddles. So in the last episode, I was told a riddle. And what was the riddle again? He's probably going to tell me again if I ask him. So the riddle was, if I talk to him, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Kakariko Village's speciality fruit. It's rock hard flesh is quite resolute. Oh, oh yeah, I, th I think I got the answer wrong. I forgot what the riddle ro uh, is. Oh, but if it's wrong, falls to sleep. So I thought it was a carrot. It might, it might be the pumpkin. My first thought was the pumpkin. It, it, this might be wrong. I think this is the wrong answer, but let me just put it in just to check. Yeah, it's not that. I think it's like a hearty pumpkin or something. <laughs> so what I thought I would do was just go and get it ready now and then have it with me. The thing is, I couldn't I couldn't see any of the, the pumpkins for, for sale. So I was like, oh, I'll get these swift carrots. Maybe it's the carrots. Like, they grow both carrots and pumpkins. And it seems to be like a little bit of a, of a competition in Kakariko Village in terms of which one, you know, is their, their fruit. So let me go buy a pumpkin and I'll go back there. I'll cut ahead because it takes a little while to, to climb up the tree. Okay, I got the, the the pumpkin and I'm pretty much back on top of the the, the deco tree. My Ravalli's gale just refilled. So there we go. There's the the, the quick way to, to get to, to where I need to, to get to. I, 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 like, I don't know if I said it. I think I might have said it. I might not have. But I think I said, oh, I think it's pumpkins in the last episode. And then I went and got a carrot for some reason. But there we go. There's the pumpkin. Fortified pumpkin. That's it. That's it. You got it. Uh -huh. The next riddle is... This sultry shoe will warm your bones. It makes its home in warmer zones. Uh, so it's a, it's a mushroom that warms your bones. So oh yeah, I get to keep the, get to keep the stuff as well. Do I have any of them on me? Like I can't remember exactly what one it is, but I'm sure I'll be able to work it out. So it won't be the stamina one, an iron skin one. The razor one will increase strength. No, but it's not that one. I don't know if I'm gonna have it then. I might. Oh. Zap shroom? No, it's not gonna be a, a zap one. So it's obviously a my oh, oh 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 what's this? What's this? What's this? A sun shroom. Oh, it's gotta be a sun shroom, is it? Is it a sun shroom? It'd, it'd be really handy if I just had it. There we go, I had it! A sun shroom! That's it! That's it! You got it! Ahem. The next riddle is its scales and tail will zap you, no doubt. This shocking swimmer is called a fish. So it's scales and tail will zap you. It's got to be like, like, oh, is it, I think, isn't there a fish called like a zap fish or something? I mean, the chances of me having it are pretty, are pretty slim to be fair. I don't do much fishing. Uh, we've got a cup, uh, blah, 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 cute markings. No, no special effect on that one. All right, I think we might be about at the, um... The boundary. Oh, when could it offers resistance to electricity? Let's just let's just give this a go. I don't think this is it. We'll give it a go. Oh, a Voltrin trout. That's it. I got it right. You got it. Ahem. The next riddle is. Oh, this is the last one of the ultimate trial. If stepped on, uh, if stepped on by this, you'll go poof. It starts with a H and ends with an oof. It's not a hoof, is it? <laughs> if you said you'll go perf, starts with a H and ends with an oof. Hmm. Stepped on. It's, it's not like a monster part thing, is it? Maybe. So I'm looking like just anything with like an like a, a H and an oof. Well, let's just look for anything that begins with H, I guess. My guess is that what are those um those big giant guys? It's not anything to do with one of them, is it? Let's just go and have a, a look through and just see. Oh. Uh, Hinnock's toe. Oh, no, I was thinking of Hinox. That's what I was thinking of. Uh, Hinnock's toenail, Bokoblin fang, Bokoblin horn. Hmm. I feel like I might not have this one. But then again, I can't. I can't work out what it is. So I might have it, but <laughs> just haven't worked it out. I feel like it's hoof if you stepped on it, but I don't know. But my best guess would be it's like one of the monster part stuff but i might not have it yet but if i if i remember if i see something uh, i can come back here and uh, try and solve the uh, the final riddle i need to, to solve anyway where should we go should we head like should we head north into the the forest so there's the the lost woods that we came through in the, the last episode if you saw that which uh, i don't fancy going back to because it was pretty slow and painful going and then i arrived there but can i can i wander around the the rest of the the forest is it going to to let me oh i'm not sure if it's gonna oh no it's got a bit foggy again 
I don't think I'm going to be able to wander around here. Mm, okay, so it looks like I might not be able to to wander around the rest of the, the forest then. I mean, there is a swamp over here. Let's go and just mark the swamp with a cooking pot because <laughs> I need to mark it with something. Oh, that doesn't even make it show up on the map. There's no point. Well, let's just wander that way. If I fade away, I fade away. I'll deal with it. If not, I get to explore a, a little bit more of the, the forest because, yeah, I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to go today. I, like, I normally make a, a little bit of a, of a mental plan in my head for what I'm going to, to do in like each video. Today, I was like, I'm just going to play Zelda. I'm going to play Zelda and whatever's going to happen is what's going to happen. But yeah, this is the, the problem with exploring the, the forest. I'm sure there's paths and ways I can get through it, but let's not deal with that to, today. Let's see if there's another tower we can get so i believe there's a tower right here there's also one right there as well there's two very close to their their boundaries and that's going to be two enormous regions filled in and then there's only going to be like two left to, to go so i've now i've left this one as a little bit of a gap here well should i do this should i do this one see i'm close to let's do this one first then Complete change of mind. As I said, I haven't planned what I'm going to do today. We'll see what's going to, to happen. That's the way to play this game. Like, you could get, like, the Zelda guidebook, which I do have, mainly because it looks good, though, rather than to use it as a guide. And you could go and, like, do everything by the book and be efficient and do this and that. And, you know, that's it's why I, like, I do go through the comments. But a lot of, like, the tips I kind of just ignore, or if I see it's kind of going into too much detail, I don't focus on it, because the discovery is the, the joy of the, the game, rather than kind of going through the, the tips. There's a few things that just are uh, a little bit helpful, or if, or if there's something that, like, I'm continually doing wrong, it's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, good to, to be able to... Um have someone uh, point you in the, the right direction. But apart from that, I like to, to try and discover out uh, discover as much as I can myself. So, ah, that was why I didn't do the tower last time, wasn't it? It's because there's the volcano there. Let's just, shall I just go and head there? Let's just go this way a little bit. Let's just go in. Like, I got two bursts of Ravali's gas until it's going to, to need to, to refill. Let's just go and have a little look over these mountains. If it gets too hot and I can't survive and I just want to get out of there, I will get out of there. But it should all... Oh, is that... Is that oh, there's a, a shrine down that way. Should we go down this way instead and go to, to this shrine? Like... <laughs> I'm so bad, aren't I? I just can't, I just can't set myself a goal and stick to it. Like, I'm just completely flip-flopping all over the place all of the time. It is ridiculous. Like, I set myself a goal, and then my goal will change, like, ten times before I actually end up completing anything. <laughs> but shrines are so, so useful, and I, I have, like, a, an extra, um... An extra urgency, I guess, to 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 get them now because to get the the master sword. Oh, that's a cool looking place. Uh, to get the the master sword, I need to to build up my heart containers. I did, by the way, uh, in between this episode and the the last episode. Uh, I filled one up uh, while I was at uh, Kakariko Village getting the the carrots that I didn't need. <laughs> I did go and uh, and grab uh, the the heart container just so uh, I had it there ready. But yeah, there there must be a shrine. Like I'm amazed I haven't marked it. Or have I marked it? Oh, I have marked it! So I must have seen it before and said I will go back at another point. Oh, no, what's that over there? There's, oh, there's some enemies over there. That might be a nice place to, I say nice, but like a, an easy place to, to go and start making my way up the, the mountain. So tell you what, I have changed my goal. We'll deal with the volcano all in one big go. Like I need to go up there because there's a divine beast up there anyway. But I've decided to, to hold off doing that for, for now. I'm probably going to, to leave that as the, the final divine beast. So as I go to, to do that, uh, then I'll I'll go and uh, probably go up the path and worry about getting the the tower and doing all of that stuff then rather than kind of worrying about it too much now and I need to to get out of here because I <laughs> ran out of stamina and then I got chased by all of them oh there's a rock here is there a croc seed under here oh there's a rupee I'll take the, the single gold rupee oh hello Hello, look at that. Oh no, it's raining. He's running. Yeah. Look at him. He's running in the rain. Look at his silly face. Look at his silly face. Oh, let's say hello. Hey there. I'm Boldon of Goron City, ambassador of tourism. Hyrule Castle and Death Mountain. The roads around here can get pretty dangerous for travellers. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. That is amazing uh, seeing him run around in the, the rain. Luckily, I decided not to, to head up the, the mountain, and I'm very glad I made that decision because otherwise I would be stuck trying to, to climb up and not being able to, to do it. So the shrine seemed to be right over there. What I think I might be able to, to do is go up to the, the top here, use Ravali's Gale, and this might... 
be able to, to take me all the way to the, the shrine from here. I think I should be able to. I think I should be able to, to make that. Let's get all the way as high as I can go. And then the good thing is, is while I'm doing the, the shrine, uh, Ravali's Gale is going to be like non-stop uh, recharging. So hopefully uh, by the time I get back out, uh, I will be able to... Um, and yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be able to to, to use it again. Uh, let's um let's let's stop off actually. Let's go and take up these guys. Seeing as they're they're here anyway, I've just got a great like opportunity for like an aerial bomb blast here. Like if I just go and fire this between all of them, and oh, that's just gonna be awesome. And oh, if I fired out three, yeah, because I'm using the the forest dwe uh, dweller bow as well. If I fired out like three bombs to be able to to completely own them. <laughs> this guy was able to survive though, so let's go and uh, finish this guy off with whatever I have. Then there's the poor guy on the lookout tower who has only just noticed that anything is happening at all <laughs> not be the fastest reaction no we didn't even this guy didn't even have a weapon that's how quick i was able to to push in right let's be careful i want to dodge this guy's arrow uh it's really good dodging their arrows because it means you can grab their arrows and am i gonna be able to blow them up oh okay well, i did i did i guess blow them up but I kind of blew myself up a little bit as well. I did more damage to, to him than I did to me. And there we go. I was able to, to finish him off. It's been a while since I've done a, a good old bow coblin camp ambush like that. And oh, it looks like we've got a whole load of rupees under here. And are these snails? Or are these uh, roasted oh, roasted acorns just lying around on the, the ground? I will definitely take them. And it looked like there was some uh, some other tasty food for me to, to grab. And some of those metal crates have really good stuff in. And some spare arrows as well. This was definitely worth doing uh, while I, I stopped off here. It does mean I'm going to have to, to make my way through the, the water to get across to the other side. But uh, that's really no problem. It's not very far, is it? All right, then. Let's, uh, let's go and blow up these guys here, then. Let's drop the, the bomb down here. Run away a bit and blow all of this up. Any goodies? Uh, we have... I think some rupees came out. I'll definitely grab them. There was a shield that didn't look particularly amazing. So let's not worry too much about that. And whoa, we have apples. <laughs> loads and loads of apples. Like apples are actually really good because like they're not that great to eat by themselves. They don't really do much. Obviously, if you roast them, they're a little bit better, but they're just great to add to other ingredients. So it's always just good to have like a huge amount of them on you. And also sometimes it's going to sound weird, but sometimes you don't want to put your health up very much. Like I don't know if it's just me, but it annoys me. Say if I've got like, like I have now, I got three and like, a quarter I guess hearts gone but if I had like something that put my hunger up by like seven I'd feel like I wasted it you know sometimes you want something that doesn't put your hearts up by very much for when you're only a little bit hurt like even though it doesn't matter if you overheal I just can't help but feeling like I'm wasting healing potential so sometimes it's actually quite nice to, to have some things on you that like don't heal you very much and I can totally see you I don't know who you were trying to camouflage from let's see if I can up oh, okay I was gonna try and get a a stealth strike but there we go this does so much damage so it does free arrows but it only takes away one of my arrows so it's not like i'm wasting all of my arrows by doing this um it's just really useful and oh no i should have saved my Ravali's gale because <laughs> i need to, to make my way up here but it's all covered in spines what i should be able to to do though is use my flame sword and i think i should be able to set fire to all of this is this not going to do it Ah, might be a little bit too much. Maybe if I use the uh, the meteor rod, is that going to set fire to that? Did the trick. Ha <laughs> ha, by the, the looks of things. So this is all good about when I might actually be able to, to set myself on fire. It's not what I meant to do. I was trying to use the uh, the updraft. There we go. So now I don't need to, to wait for it to, to go. And oh, there's some lovely cooked steak up at the, the top here. Anyway, let's go and do the, the shrine. This is completely not what I was intending to, to do today, but I cannot turn down the shrines. I just really enjoy them. I'm actually kind of fancying a combat shrine. I normally way prefer the puzzle ones, and I do, I do prefer the puzzle ones, but it's been a while since I've had a combat one, like I had a weird time where I kind of kept getting combat ones in a row, and I kind of got a bit fed up with them, but it's been a bit of a, of a gap, and I'm kind of looking forward to a good battle, but I know as I say that it is going to be a puzzle one, most of them are the, the puzzle ones, but right then, what are we going to, to be up to? Well, it looks like we have a, a laser over there. Uh, to you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Shireta. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer the trial. Blah, 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 blah. It's really good. Right then, speed of light. It's always good to look at the name because it's often a bit of a, of a giveaway for what you're going to be doing. So as I turn this, am I, am I moving that thing around? No, see, as you, am I choosing the direction it goes in? Am I doing it? What, what am I turning? Am I turning? I've got to be doing so. Is this doing anything? Ah, okay, so... As it hit that, it set it off. And oh, now it's filling up with water. Okay, great. Um, they're both doing water. Oh, but I guess as it hits it again, 
then all the water's going to drain away. Perfect. Uh, right then. So I guess, I mean... If I could use Ravali's Gale, this would be so easy. Do I just need to be quick? Is that is? Do I just need to get across the room quick? Is that all I need to, to do? Or did I, not, did I not spin it enough? Because if I use this, I might be able to just go across really, really fast. Okay, I, th I think I'm not turning this enough. So I think I just turn it for a bit. Yeah, then that starts it going. And then I guess I need to stay here until the water gets high enough. And then it's going to keep spinning and then knock down the, the water. So I just got to be really ready uh, with this to, to go and make my, my way across. So, oh, don't hurt me. <laughs> I only got scared that the, it was going to, to hurt me. Right, I think I don't think I can go yet. So the, the water's going. So when the water gets to the, the top, let's go and start making my way across here. Oh, it's not, it's not even turning again. I don't, I don't get the puzzle. It seems... Let's just go and look through this doorway, because getting to the doorway is no problem whatsoever. So, there's got, there's got to be something else. Okay, there is definitely more through here. Let's have a look around. So, we have a, a closed gate. That's where the, the end of the, the shrine is. We have a barrel. Is this like... It looks like a pretty indestructible barrel. Is it a, a magnetic one? It is. It's a metal barrel. And then down there... Oh! Okay, okay, okay. So, I need to be here... And the water needs to be down. That seems to be the, the issue because I'm assuming that this barrel is going to, to float. Which is a problem because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to, to get it onto to there. So let's just kind of put it over where the, the button is. Can I, like, squeeze it down? I guess that's not going to, to work. So, yeah, okay, I understand the, the issue that we, we have now. So I wonder, could I, like... I'm, I'm thinking whether it has to do with anything to do with me, like, blocking it using this. Like, I could block it the, the it from hitting it. Let's just... Let, let, let me just try... Let me just try and play around. What happens to the ice when I... Oh, there's a little chest down there as well. So I want to... I want, I want to, to go and get the, the chest quick first anyway. But yeah, I wonder what happens to the ice when the water goes down. Will the ice shrink down, maybe? I think that's probably what's going to, to happen. I might need to... To break away some of the ice so the the laser hits it because it might not quite hit it now uh, let's just see whether it does or not but yeah i might need to, to go and smash away some of those uh just so it does go and drop down the water is it gonna get it and it did it did okay so oh ah the ice just immediately smashes okay i feel like i i have all of the the knowledge about kind of what the the challenge is and now i just need to to focus on <laughs> the the more difficult part which is of course actually solving the the challenge so i'm assuming there's going to be no way for me to, to make my way up here using this. Like, this just isn't going to, to get me high enough by the, the looks of things. Can I jump up and grab it? God, oh, so close. It's so annoyingly close, but not close enough. <laughs> so let's go and try and think about this, though. So I turn it. Like, I can choose which direction it turns, which seems to be, like, a bit of a, of a big deal. Can I, can I, like, make this do anything? Can I use stasis on this, for example? Can't use stasis. Can I use magnesis? I can't. Would a bomb blow this up at all is going to be a, another question. Is that going to make it turn? It is not. Is there... Is there any way to get underneath it? Or... Because there's like stuff underneath down there. It doesn't look like it. So... Hmm. Do I need to get... Oh! I got it! 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 So... I can get up to there. So if I go up to there, I'm assuming if I use a bomb to blow it up, that's going to set it off. So if I leave a bomb up there, make my way across, and then blow the, the bomb up, uh, then I should be able to to, to make my way over to, to there. I think that's what I need to, to do. It all depends, of course, on whether a, a bomb is actually going to, to blow it up or not. I'm assuming it will, because I have faced those things before, and in the past the bombs always have blown it up, so I'm assuming it's going to, to be the, the same thing here. I made my way across like this anyway, because I think it's a little bit quicker than swimming, so if I go and place down a bomb right... Oh, <laughs> I had to blow up the, the other one first. If I put the, the bomb right down here, then all I need to do now is I can just go and swim my way across to the, the other side there, and then I can just blow up the, the bomb and then the water should sink down and then I should be done. I should just be able to put the, the barrel on. It all depends on whether only the light can set that thing off though. But let's see whether it does. Oh no, that works. 
That was, like, it looked, didn't it look like this puzzle was setting it itself up to be really, really, like, difficult? <laughs> like, I thought this was going to be a really challenging one, but it's actually, like, such a simple solution. But I think probably, like, many of the, the, the puzzles, I bet there was, like, a, a few different solutions that I could have done. And then this, this is uh, just the, the one that I did. And this is great, because this is going to be my next spirit orb. It's also going to put all of my health back up, which is uh, another little cheeky benefit. Like, no one's going to go down and do these shrines just to, to put their health up, but... If there, there is a benefit, then <laughs> I will certainly take that benefit. So there we go. Starting my journey of uh, collecting spirit orbs again. I still haven't looked up exactly how many heart containers I need to, to get the master sword. But I think you can like end up having two rows of hearts. And I haven't even finished the first row yet. So I am assuming that I'm way off. I think you can probably, probably get up to like 20 hearts or something. And I don't know how much stamina you can get. But I have plenty of more shrines left to, to complete. Especially as there are kind of like hidden shrines as well. Like I'm obviously getting all of the the very obvious ones but there are ones like hidden in caves and underground and in all sorts of like tricky places to to get to and i haven't really uh focused too much on getting any of those shrines i've kind of just gone after the the ones that have been immediately on my journeys as i've been making my my way around the the place so i guess then as i am going to be ignoring this area for for now so let's just mark this whole area with like a skull just to say like stampy you've decided to not go that way do not go that way <laughs> and let's go and and uh, see if we can go and fill in uh, one of the, the towers over here. Because I have a shrine right next to it. Anyway, it should be no problem at all. I can see the, the tower in the background. I think that might actually be the, the tower we're just about to, to head to anyway. We are quite close to, to Hyrule Castle, which means there are a bunch of guardians uh, around here. And guardians scare me. Like, if you have the, the guardian arrows like or the the ancient arrows whatever they're called and you get good aim they're so easy to take out also if you have a good shield and you can kind of reflect back their beams then they aren't actually as scary as they they used to be but definitely still one of the the most difficult enemies that i've faced so far in the, the game so <laughs> something that i wouldn't really like to, to mess with right now so which color am i going from going for the the red one so it should be oh there we go it's literally right there not far at all there is a bit of a of a giant chasm in the the way though might be the uh, the only issue it looks like a really deserty area i reckon that's where the gorons are i reckon that is going to lead us to, to where the gorons are and the gorons are some of my favorite uh, i guess creatures is that the right word is that offensive to them <laughs> characters might not be the the right word you know what i mean i just love the the gorons and all there's a bokoblin camp here let's okay let's um tell what i haven't really played around with this very much but look i've got this um this bokoblin mask <laughs> that i can put on and there we go there they're never going to expect anything i will blend in perfectly let's see if i can just sneak up to them with uh, with this on and just throw these explosive barrels at them. <laughs> I might just be able to take them out absolutely immediately. But seeing as I'm going to be around this tower for a while. Oh, look, it's fine. It's fine. Look, it's just me. Is he coming to investigate? Oh, this might not end well. I, I think if he gets close, he might realize. Hello? Is he sniffing me? He's sniffing me. <laughs> he looks very confused. The others have just fallen asleep. If I just walk away. Oh, he's following me. Okay, at least I'm leading this guy away. And then if I can expose, like, uh, dispose of this guy very sneakily over here somewhere. <laughs> oh, it just, is it actually just meant to make them follow me? What does the description say? Uh, oh, it's cute in a way. Oh, it helps me blend in. Oh, oh, oh this guy's going after me now. Um, okay, I, I, I kind of feel like the Pied Piper of, of Googlies right now with all these guys facing me. Oh, do the skeletons ones follow me as well? Oh, it even works with the skeleton bow coblins. <laughs> Let's just put these guys out their misery, shall we? <laughs> there we go. He realized the hard way that I am not actually uh, who I pretended to be. Let's go and grab this guy and just kick him into the water. Okay, I missed, but he, I got him out the other way. Then let's go and do what I was going to do. And let's go and grab some of these barrels before they grab their weapons. Oh, no, no, no. I realized as I was throwing that 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 was not going to end well. I was way too close to the other barrel. Right, there's one last guy here and he is one of the, the stronger ones. But my flaming greatsword will have no problem dealing with him. And oh no, it's badly damaged. Oh, that's a shame. I've enjoyed using this uh, this greatsword. It's uh, helped me out in a lot of scrapes uh, over, the, uh, <laughs> over the, the past few episodes. But I was able to, to grab some steak. Very useful. And a bunch of monster parts. And I'm pretty sure that look how far that boat cobbler's gone down. He is not going to, to be a worry for, for me anytime soon but anyway 
I am going to end this episode here, seeing as I do have a, a bit of a, of a journey to, to go in. I'm also going to mark there was a another shrine down there somewhere, wasn't there? So let me just go and mark that shrine. So the plan for the next episode, and I actually do have a, a plan for the next episode now, is to, to go and get Mr. Shrine there first. Oh, can I mark it? Is it going to let me mark it? There we go. So I'm going to go to the, the shrine first. Looks like there might be some other stuff down there. Looks like there may be a stable or at least something down there. So yeah, I'm going to go to the, the shrine. And then I'm going to go and scale the, the mountain to get the, the tower. And then from there, I can decide exactly what interesting things I want to head to next. Because there's an enormous mountain over there. And there has to be uh, something interesting at the, the top up there. But sadly, as I said, that is going to be the, the end of this episode here. I will be, uh, yeah, trying to, to keep uploading these uh, these Zelda videos as regularly as I have been. And so there'll be a link down in the description description to both the the next episode and the playlist which has all of my zelda videos in a row so you can watch them very easily <laughs> look at me do my weird bow goblin starts there that is the end of this episode here though thank you so much for watching and i will see you all later bye